will show today how to flush the ABS or ALB for a Honda for the brake, anti-locking brake or ALB, it's also called ABS or anti-braking system. Uh, this is a Honda Prelude, but uh, Honda Prelude, early Honda Prelude, uh, Acura NSX, Honda Accord, they are all about same. Even newer cars have uh, similar things actually. Now, this is the secondary reservoir for the ABS pump. The modular, modulator is right under it, has uh, three or four solenoids to it. This is the, the far there. There's the actual brake master cylinder. We are not doing anything there, but some vehicles, newer vehicles especially, has everything right uh, near the master cylinder uh, reservoir right there. Anyway, these are the connectors. Uh, near this secondary reservoir uh, for the uh, solenoids. So this one has front left. This one is for both rear. Uh, and this one I opened already is for front right. If you have uh, rear independent suspension, you will have two connectors like this. So altogether four for four wheels. And the solenoids are right here under there inside this uh, uh, right there inside cannot see much so we're not going into the solenoid but we'll be checking if the solenoid working or not and the ABS pump is located under the battery right over there down there so as the reservoir I'll show you how to test the ABS pump as well or ALB pump so first thing, I took this fluid out and with a suction and I put brand new dot three dot four or dot four fluid in there. It's already dark because I uh, reactivated the solenoid and it brought the old rusted fluid back in. The reason it is not working is because this rusty fluid, uh, the solenoid is stuck open. So first thing, the open the connector one at a time, open this, measure the resistance between the black, the center, which is the ground, and the red is the positive going out, and yellow is the, yellow is the other one, that's also positive, uh, direction of flow, one is in, one is out. So the resistance between the ground, the center one, and the uh, red or the ground and the yellow the left and right two pins this is three pins so the ground and the other two pins is usually uh, three to four ohms if it's in good condition it will be three to four ohms not not uh, more than that usually maybe five six is okay too but uh, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be a lot now how to test if the solenoid is running or not is I put these two connectors and now I'll power this from the battery so get the positive so hold the positive to the positive terminal to the red wire and as I touch this you'll see a par spark and the solenoid will click. Just touch quickly. Like this here. So I've been doing that and it brought some pretty bad fluid. It became all red. I'm going to change it again. So this is how to clean the solenoid. Power the solenoid, quick burst. Click, 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 quick burst. So it goes up and down and brings the old fluid back. Now do it few times. Now suck this out, put brand new fluid in. And this fluid should go back into the ABS pump and the reservoir. How? Take the 
fuse box cover off. This is ABS pump motor relay, ALB1, LB2 and ALB3 fuses. This is ABS uh, or ALB secondary, ALB secondary relay, these two. I'm not touching those two, just this one. Take it off. Back of the relay, you'll see the circuit. So this is the switch, these two pins, and this, this is the solenoid. We're not going to do anything on that side, but these two will jump, which is the back two in this case. So these back two pins will jump this. The wire like this. As soon as we jump, you'll hear the ABS pump working. And as soon as the ABS pump works, it will suck the fluid into the ABS pump. working and it's sucking the clean fluid into the pump. Now I'll be cleaning the solenoid one at a time again and take this old fluid out, put new fluid, get it sucked in there, activate the ABS solenoids the way I showed, black and red, black and red power black is the negative battery terminal red is the positive so as here the center one is black the left and right are yellow and red and this is the other one so all these three solenoids and you can test if a solenoid doesn't click if it doesn't turn on if it doesn't click click that means uh, it's not working right or it's jamming hope this helps I'll uh, try to give more detail. Uh, to change the ABS motor or ABS pump, it is uh, right under the battery case, uh, far down there. So that's kind of expensive to replace it. Uh, usually they don't go, but to test it, as I showed, you power the relay, sorry, jump the relay, and the pump will go. Do not, do not, do not run more than 20 seconds. 10-15 seconds is maximum. It may burn. Uh, and this for the solenoid, it just quick burst. I'll just quickly show it once again. Hold the uh, solenoid, uh, connect to the positive. No, it came off. Oh, it just came off. Hang on. See the bubbles coming? Now I'll uh, suck the old fluid out, pour new fluid, run the pump, and then redo the solenoid cleanup. And I'll do the rest of the other 
rest of the solenoids, two or three more. For this car, two more. But uh, Acura NSX or Honda cars, preludes, later newer models has uh, four independent suspension, so four uh, should be four solenoids. All right. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.